So for Dr. Monroy, how best do you manage a stroma collapse, uh, prolapse? Is there a way to avoid surgery? And what's the best way to advise? And what's the best advice you could give a patient who has head in? To prevent stomal prolapse, one is, of course, the surgeon should prop, uh, do the proper technique. Second, the patient should uh, avoid a sudden weight gain or too much weight gain. And uh, some advice, recommend exercise, regular exercise for patients, but not too, too strenuous. And also, of course, avoid uh, being malnourished or immunocompromised. That's uh, avoid surgery or talagang surgery na lang is the only option for a prolapse. Well, if kung hindi naman masyadong problematic yung stoma appliance fitting or care, okay lang yung prolapse na to observe. But and just just wait for the time na mapwede na maklose. If it is a permanent prolapse, then surgery cannot be avoided kasi just worsen to over time. Eh. Pero contemporary, we can wait for until it is returned or closed. I think this question comes from a resident. What is the indication to do loop colostomy versus a double barrel? So how do you choose, sir? Which kind of colostomy you do? Well, a loop is usually performed or chosen if you use it to protect an anastomosis or to divert a uh, distal obstruction. Yung double barrel, if you resect a segment of a bowel and you decide not to anastomose it or reconnect it for one reason or another, then that's the double barrel. You exteriorize it and call that double barrel. So you need different. So for the next question, I think also Ma'am Nelda can answer this. So skin complications around the stoma skin, what can you advise and how can you set the... Well, for skin stoma irritations or complications, it's usually preventable if at the early part or early post-op, you have a good stoma care already, good skin care. It usually starts with due to poor stoma care or poorly constructed stoma. So the, also, the surgeon has a role, especially if it's an ileostomy. If I get a referral with skin irritation, uh, I make it sure that the bag must have a skin barrier. So that skin barrier can be barrier can be a hydrocolloid one, which can be used also to repair the skin. So if I place that, then after 24 to 72 hours, when I get when I take it off, uh, the irritation is already away. How early do you refer to the stoma nurse? Um, Pre-op, do they have to see the stoma nurse or yes. is it post-op? They should see, especially if elective case and they have time to see uh, the stoma nurse. For pre-op sighting, for counseling and educating the patient. There are studies showing uh, benefits over not doing it in pre-op consult to stoma nurse. And then, syempre, dapat post-op while confined and then as an outpatient, they should also be followed up by the stoma nurse. Kayo, Ma'am Nelda, how many days does it need? Well, but pre-pandemic, we have done that. As long as the doctor... Uh, Order, please refer to stoma nurse for sighting. Then uh, in our institution, there is a stoma nurse uh, assigned or scheduled to have a rounds or to get the orders. But during pandemic, they have a, until now. We, don't, we go back now. Then after that, we follow up after operation. Then there is also a follow-up, especially for those uh, the charity patients. We have an ostomy clinic in our hospital.
The world moves in real time. So should our healthcare technology. With information needed, decisions to make, and experience to share. Every second counts. Live integrated tele-ultrasound enables real-time communication, remote collaboration, confidence, knowledge, and learning. The first ever integrated tele-ultrasound collaborative platform. Philips Lumify. Integrated tele-ultrasound, powered by React's collaborative platform. Innovation and you. Philips. So how many days do you change a base plate? And what can you recommend? A flexible one, a moldable one, a non-flexible one? And I think there was also a question um, about um, when do you change? Actually, first day post-op, second day post-op um, for both Dr. Monroy and Ma'am Nelda. For hmm. us as a surgeon, we usually place a transparent bag two piece of, uh, transparent bag yung at least yung pinaka bag transparent so that we can inspect the stoma the, the, the day after or even early post op and then change it before discharge or kung naglilik na and the uh, meron yang return demo ano for them eh. so, so for the patient or the, who will take care we, we usually depends it also depends upon what type of stoma if it is an ileostomy then uh, after 72 hours um, there there is a possibility that there will be like leakage but if it is an end colostomy for the and permanent ones kasi pag nalagay yon so uh, it can be 5 to 7 days before it leaks or before the 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 appliance will be uh, can be removed easily because if the appliance is being removed uh two days three days and then it is uh already uh, uh the the adherence is very uh, adhered uh, in the skin it can also uh, cause skin stripping oh. or damage to the skin. So the advice is uh, remove the appliance or the wafer after five to seven days. Is it okay though to apply betadine to the stoma if there's bleeding or what can you use to clean it? No, definitely not. Uh, what we use is the uh, same as with our or our face or our body in cleaning the stoma. Uh, the, the clean clean water, not, not even sterilized. It's only the clean water as if you are washing your uh, your genitalia or your foot or your, your <laughs> buttocks. <laughs> and then uh, no need to use uh, sometimes we use soap and water, but uh, it is uh, not easy to remove the soap, which can cause irritation too if it is trapped with a uh, bag. For both Dr. Manroy and Mamelda, what is the best kind of diet that you can advise for your patients with a stoma? in terms of their nutrition? Or is there a recommended diet, dietary or nutritional intake for patients with a colostomy? Well, the patient has to observe the reaction to different food. So, meron food na mas na liquid yung ano nila or mas solid. So they have to observe closely. Iba-iba yung reaction ng patient. But 
in general, syempre, yung solid low residue diet can have uh, less um, liquid output. Yun naman ang gusto natin, particularly for uh, ileostomy. At least as form and then uh, soft but form. For end colostomy, Tigmoid colostomy, usually in regular stools. So, avoid constipating. Parang yung walang stoma rin. Because mm -hmm. the stools can become hard or yung parang goat-like stools na malilit na mahirap ilabas. So, they, there are usual regular healthy diet. I'm so, hindi naman high fiber or whatever. Well, so, you, that's part of the... Ano, diba? Healthy uh -huh. diet, high fiber intake, liquid intake. What we intake. recommend for those patients uh, with stoma, same as what uh, she, she or he eats before operation. Then, uh, as uh, Dr. Manre said, uh, try the, the different foods that will cause uh, upset of the intestines or of course those with the other uh, disease or for those diabetic ones they don't need to eat uh, sugar uh, foods with ano, many sugar and for those with high blood then the, the diet that they are they, that they are eating will be the same as before the, the operation.